actually have to do this call end of um, the session, but you actually want to stay on this call to the end of this call. So, um, you know, you can actually get the whole information first time, right? All right, so my name is Agmeri Joe Michael, and um, yeah, I'm Platinum Star Leader in this academy. And um, I started trading um, just, I think about eight months ago, right, from this system. And, um, you know, with the educators, joining sessions and all of that. And um, basically from joining the sessions, that's the go live sessions and actually trading with the educators. That's actually how I learned how to trade. All right. But I didn't just learn how to trade by just joining the sessions, right? I actually learned how to trade by actually practicing what the educators were actually teaching. So on my own, after they actually don't teach and everything, I spend, I think when I was when I started then, I spent like two hours a day practicing. So um, for like two hours, I'll just stay on my own. Then I didn't even know what trading you were. I'll just be opening trading view, be clicking, 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 I'm watching videos, you know, gradually, gradually. When I'm done after two hours, I'm done for the day. Right. Next day, when I join the session, they are done. I'll come on my own again, watch another video, practice two hours again. The third day, like that for the and that's why I kept doing and doing and doing and before you know it's within a week, right? At least I actually now to mark up my chart. All right. I started marking up my chart, so it's going well, just normal support and resistance. And I was winning trades, right? But it was not actually as accurate as it was actually meant to be. Right. So um I just kept practicing. All right. I kept practicing, I kept looking for okay, what actually this thing that can actually make the difference, right? You know, marking up charts, you win trades, and all of a sudden you're just losing trades. So um, I was just trying to just figure out, I remember now actually really got to know about cash drop, like, well, when people actually claim trades with cash drop, then I tried it out. And I understood cash drop. I think we didn't need it. I even know how to use cash drop. But then trading on my own over time, I just kept learning more things. I kept getting better. Normally, when I want to mark up chart, I'll come. I look at my laptop screen like, oh shit, like for a very long time, you know, before I can even draw zones, it was actually very, very complex, very, very complicated, all right? But the fact that, okay, let me put on my, I think, headset or so, maybe I can use the microphone. I don't know why um, people are actually saying I'm sounding very low. All right, so if I'm actually sounding better, just let me know, all right? So, now. It's very, very clear now. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, <clears throat> so um, when I started, all right, it was actually a bit more, you know, it was a bit complex, right? Because, you know, you are actually just doing something new. When you open trading view, trading view, the whole candlesticks are looking very scary, right? But I was not actually scared of the candlesticks though, right? But I just kept practicing them. And I realized that the more I practiced marking up my charts, the easier it became, the easier it became, and it just kept getting better and better and easier and easier. And as I kept, I kept on learning. Till I still got to the stage where, I, if I don't bring up my laptop, self sometimes I'm, I just look at it like I've already drawn my line, drawn my line. I've even realized a lot of tips and um, what do you call it, tricks, right? So marking up my charts that will makes it more easier for me. All right, I'm going to be showing every single thing on this call. I'll be showing everything on this call every single thing all right so um i'll be sharing my screen right now i'll be sharing my screen right now and um i'll start i'll first start by um you know showing trading view and explaining how to draw your support sorry how to um, get the horizontal line on trading view all right the horizontal and vertical lines on trading view all right because that's basically what you use to mark up your um chats all right so i'll be sharing my screen in the next like let me, let me share my screen right now all right okay
All right, can everyone see my screen? I guess everyone should see my screen right now. All right, can everyone see my screen right now? All right, um, so to actually assess trading view, all right, what you need to do is you need to go to trading view dot com dot com all right so trading view and cash trap cash traps are gloves dot com right they actually have the same interface all right that means they actually look yeah similar all right they look actually similar to a particular extent right the whole um interface and all of that that basically means if you now to mark up your chart on trading view you can actually mark up your chart on cash trap all right but for you to actually um know how to mark up your charts you need to actually understand how to um what do you call it how to actually assess the horizontal and vertical lines on um trading view so um let me make my charts my um trading view let me move the dark mode so it can um be white all right. <clears throat> so this is actually what trading view looks like. All right. And um, at the left hand side, that's the very, very extreme left hand side. You're going to see icons, right? Can you see all these icons here? All these icons, they mean different things. All right. They all mean different things. All right. They all mean different things and they are all very, very useful. They are all very, very useful. But are you to use everything? No. So mark up your chart. In fact, all you just need is just one particular one. And that is located here. So now if you see these three horizontal dashes, below it, you see this full stop or this dot rather. All right. And below it, can you see this line? All right. This um diagonal diagonal line that's actually the icon for to get a trend line so if you double tap on that it's going to show you different options you can see trend line arrow all these ones you don't need the only thing you need to mark up a chart is this horizontal line the one that has a circle in the middle so you click on it go anywhere on this place and just tap once you'll see your line all right i like making my own very very thin but you can make it thick. To make it thick, just come up here. You see the stuff. You can select the thickness you want. But I like making my own thing like this. All right. So that's it. Two. Do underline again. What you do is still come here again, click on it again, and just like that, that's it. All right. So now when you get your trading view, it's gonna be a whole lot different from this. All right. So um. Let me just show you how to arrange your trading view quickly. Let me see if I can open the guest accounts. So I'll just show you how to arrange your um, trading view. Um, All right, give me a second. Let me long to my guest this thing and see if I can actually just show you a new trading view. So I'll show you how to arrange it quickly. So it's not going to be very, very clumsy and weird. Trading <coughs> view. All right. So when you go to the website first, it'll look something like I think this. Um. Uh -huh, it don't look like this. All right. So uh, switch off this dark mode, and it look like this. So what you do first is that you come to your right hand side. See this apple stuff here. Hmm? You bring it down. You come here. You cancel this forex stuff. You just cancel all these things. Come here and just cancel everything. 
All right, so when you cancel it like this, it just becomes like this, clear. All right, so when it's clear like that, to add your currency pairs, you click on this add symbol and add whatever you want to add, maybe AUD card. Oh, shit, they will ask me to, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, give me a second. All right, so I'm not going to add anything. So you're not them to actually sign up, sign up. I don't sign up. So what you just, you just come here, click on the pair you want to add. When you click AUD card and you click OK, it's going to add here a straight line. When you click USD card, add, it's add this. Just add the symbols you traded. That's it. So you know, if, if I didn't want to soft, um, shuffle within them or between them, you just click on them and you get it directly. So to remove this ugly bars here, um, how is it? So I think you right click here and click remove. Just right click on it. Come down and right click on it. It's very ugly. And click remove. Then that's it. So when you maybe select your USD, this is what you'll see. The USD, right? So once you have done that, your chart is neat. Your peers are actually here. So um, remember, this is actually where you get your horizontal or this, yeah, your horizontal line, right? You already know it's actually located here, right? So now this time frame, you can just come in and just click on this daily, right? Then you scroll down the time frames you want to be showing there. Just come to it. Let's say you want one minute. You will see this star beside one minute. You come there and click on it. You scroll down, click on five minutes. And if you do 30 minutes, you just add the ones you want to add. So what's happening now is that it will be showing here. You see one minute, five minutes. So in case you want to switch between and what they call it time frames, you just come and just click on it. That's switched. All right, so that's it. So let's leave. So that's how to arrange your chart. So once you do it, this is what this is what your chart is going to look like. It's going to look like this. <clears throat> so now let's go to our glass. All right. This our glass, like training view. The same way you can see your horizontal M um, diagonal line, rather, it's here. All right. So you click on it, you would see your horizontal line. And you can same thing. You see, it's so that's how you get your lines. All right. Okay. So now you already know how to actually get your lines. The next thing to actually understand is support and resistance. What is support and resistance? All right. Now let's leave this place. Um, Where's my tool? Now look at this. Um, this is actually how the market moves. Just forget the whole candlesticks that are actually very, that are looking very complex and all of that, right? Just forget that the candlesticks. This is actually how the market moves. The market moves um, in the waves, right? It can stay here. It can stay here. It can stay here, it can stay here. All right, let's see, it goes here, stays here, stays here. All right, this is how the market moves. It just keeps doing these things. It can go up and maybe even come down. So but let's just, let's not make it complex. All right, there's something like this. All right, so this is how the market moves. <clears throat> now, what is the support? A support is just a floor, right? I am what do you call it. I'm on a two story building. I'm standing on somewhere. What am I standing on? I'm standing on the floor, and that is the support. All right? All right, everybody should pay attention, right? So, this is what? That floor. You can see it, right? And this is me. Um, I actually have a head, actually. So, let me see. I should have something like this here. Uh -huh. So I'm standing on a floor. You can see it, right? This is actually the floor I'm standing on. All right. Now, that floor is located below, and I cannot go below that floor. All right. Why? Because the floor is very, very rigid, the floor is very, very strong. <clears throat> 
All right. So now, on top of me, all right, here yeah, above me is what we call the ceiling. All right, let me move this shit. And that is what we call the resistance here. All right, so this is me. If I try jumping up, all right, practically actually jumping up, let's say the, the ceiling is not that high. What's going to happen? I'm going to hit my head on the ceiling and I'll fall back down. I try it again. I hit my head on the ceiling. I fall down. My head already hurts me. I can't go above the ceiling. Why? Because the ceiling is very rigid. So that's the resistance. So you see it now, right? This ceiling here is a resistance. And this floor is a support. Support and resistance. So when it comes to trading and marking up your chart, the only thing you're trying to support, all right, are those supports and are those resistance. Very easy. So if you're actually confused, let's say you're new, you're still like, okay, you're looking at this and you're confused, just stand up, all right? You know you're standing on the support. Identify, this is you, identify where it is. This is it below you, all right? And this is the resistance above you. Now, there are weak and strong supports, all right? Like, let's say, for example, now, I, I'm standing on a glass that is not as strong, all right? The glass is not strong. It's a weak support. If I jump and land, I can break through the support. And what actually happens? I go down, right? Now, let's say I'm not standing on a glass. Let's say I'm standing on kind of like um, a wood, right? It's stronger than the glass. So that means if I jump on the wood, uh, it, won't, it won't break. If I climb, if I jump up again, it may not break. The third time, it can actually break. It's somehow strong, but not that strong. All right? All right? It supports. But now let's say I'm standing on the concrete, all right? And I'm jumping, jumping. I can just keep jumping, and it's going to break for a very, very, very long time. All right? Why? Because it's a very strong support. So when it comes to trading and picking your zones, you don't want to be that person that will be picking your entries at glass support. Because what's going to happen is that when you pick it at those glass support now, you might have to break it because it's not strong. All right? The same thing applies to your resistance. Glass resistance, molding, and um, concrete. If it's glass, if you jump up, my head is really shattered. When I said that wasn't happen, I'll go above it now. Yeah? Because it's glass. If it's wooden, it's gonna be stronger, and if it's seen, it's gonna be more strong or more stronger, or oh, you understand, right? So that's it. So the support and resistance, they all have different strength levels. Now, how can you need strong support and how can you need strong resistance? Good, good. It will be just ask that question, right? All right. So now, let's see. I actually have okay. Um, we have most of us have actually watched them. Um, What's not this movie? Um, What's on that game? So Squid Game, right? Tempered glass and normal glass. When you jump on the tempered glass, sorry, on the normal glass, it breaks immediately, right? So once you jump on a weak support, it breaks immediately. That's where you see the candle will just touch it once, touch it, and it's already falling down. Why? Because it's very weak. Right? But if it's tempered glass, you keep jumping, jumping, just keep staying. Right? But it can still break. It can still break, obviously. Right? So how you know a strong and a weak support and resistance is the number of time, <laughs> it's the number of time that that zone has been tested and has not filled. So what I do when I'm actually marking up my charts, I just look at everything. Let's say I look here. As I'm doing all this, I'm looking at all these things. When I'm marking my zone, I'm just looking at what I marked here. I'm going back to check how many times has this thing been tested in the past. So I actually know if it's actually strong or weak. So that is it. All right. Now. Let's leave this illustration. Most of us already know what support and resistance is from this illustration. Now let's go and get live examples of support and resistance. We'll just 
for the next like five minutes or three minutes, two minutes, we'll actually just mark support and resistance. Then we'll come back to the next phase of the lecture. Um, how would I make this thing very visible? So put down the thing. Uh, okay, so let's do this together. We we'll go select our horizontal line. We come here and um, there you go. Now let's zoom in. All right, we'll count. We want to count this one now. We'll count how many times this candle sticks or how many. Um, so um, a call was actually coming in right now. All right, so now we'll count how many times this support was tested before it broke. That's actually how we identify strong and weak support and resistance. So we'll count. This is me. I landed on top of the support. Once I jumped back up, it didn't break. Well, I landed again on the second time. Can you see it? It didn't break. I was flo uh, floating, floating, floating. I landed again on the third, the third time. I went up, it didn't break. Three, I landed the fourth time, it didn't break. Four, fifth, it didn't break. Sixth, any candlestick that touches it, you count it. Sixth, it didn't break. Seventh, it didn't break. All right, any candlestick that touches and rejects, you count it. All right, eight, it didn't break. Ninth, it didn't break. Tenth, it didn't break. Eleventh, it didn't break. Then it finally broke. Is this a strong or a weak support? All right, let me see in the chat box. Is this a strong or a weak support? Eleventh and fourth, it broke. Is this a strong or a weak? Strong or weak? Very, very strong. So now let's see Coach Michael is trading on team trading session. Yeah. Remember, remember what I thought today for those that actually joined the session today. Let's see. Ah, he didn't get there. He didn't get back to this zone. Right? But now let's just see, which Michael just saw this. Just um check cash trap. I always check my cash trap, but I don't do the cash trap. Cash trap makes everything easy. You just see everything well. All right, let's see, which Michael checks cash trap. And now since he now comes to trading view, because of the bigger view to mark it up properly. All right. And then he now comes here because you always see me. If you, have, if you have been noticing me, I'll come and I'll look at this thing. I'm counting. I'm not really counting technically, but I'm count. Can I come again? All right. <clears throat> so I'll come again. All right. I'm actually counting how many times, not like physically counting one, two, three, but I'm just like very, very quickly. And I've seen this very strong. Remember what I actually taught you people break and retest. So when it's is coming back to my retest this soon, Am I going to take the trade or not? I'll take the trade because this is a very, very strong support. Now, very, very strong supports are very, very strong resistances or will become very, very strong resistances. All right? All right, I'm going to explain that one. Support and resistance, they are, they are kind of like the same thing, actually. Based, um, they're actually the same thing, right? Because support become resistance, resistance become support, right? But it's based on, where you're actually using it's actually down support, but with above you is resistance. So now, very strong supports would eventually become very strong resistance. So if this market was to come here, this market will not just come and break this thing once. It's all one, two, three. You know, it's just keep. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. All time frames like that, don't worry. All right. You understand? I don't want me to know they're they all like that, right? Right, you still see the support and resistance strong and weak. All right, so if this was to come up here, so just keep rejecting, 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 rejecting before it finally breaks. Why? Because this is a concrete support that just became a concrete resistance. All right, now let's leave this one in. This is just one. Let's look for this weak ones. Yeah, this is a weak one. But it's not really that weak, Sha, but it's weak. So now let's count how many times the market rejected. One, two. So if the market touches here and it goes up, it's one. 
it touches here, the next candle went up soon. That's just two, three. And what actually happened the fourth time it broke it? Is it strong or weak? It was weak at this point, right? Because it broke after like two or three touches, right? So if the market is coming back up, we take it. No, why we take it? It's very, very weak. See what now happens. The market broke it immediately. The market not it not will say, let me even try. Let me even try to even pity the person that marked up that zone. You know, say, oh, let me try to pity KK that marked up that. It broke it. Straight up, roll over, roll over. The market like, you don't know what you're doing. No, I'm not coming down. <laughs> All right? Because it was weak. But now look at it now. Just what actually happened after that one, two, three, it just kept bouncing on top of this. This is not now a week. This is now a medium support. All right? It's a medium support. Now let's go and look for one weaker one self. This amount I'll mark multiple ones. Let me change to five minutes. Because I people really like five minutes. Why is my uh, this white this thing is really, really affecting my eyes? I'm not one saying the candlesticks properly so um so now it would come and we'll mark multiple ones remember support and resistance are the same thing so don't let them um, confuse you just mark your zones any area that was rejected is a zone i call them area, areas of structure so you just mark your area of structure No, not everybody can really see clearly with that, that mode. It's just few people that are really used. So now this is a zone. I like to know it's actually a zone. One, two, three. Area of structure, a weak area of structure. Um there are a lot too. There are a lot. Why marking up your chart? Don't let don't 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 stress it. You need to see clear rejections. Now, this is a very, very tricky one. I've tried to look for very, very tricky scenarios here. Why actually this is very tricky now? Look at this. Where is it? Um, look at it. It touched this line. This candlestick touched it. Now look at the rejection above the line. The next candlestick closed above the line. Right? That is one. This candlestick kind of touched it, tested it. This candlestick kind of rejected it. That's one, right? This next one didn't touch it, right? It just then it broke it again. Clearly broke it. When it broke it, this candlestick kind of broke it. Then see this one touched it and rejected. This one came again, touched it. So okay, <clears throat> let me do it like this now. Now it was a support. Right, and this is me. He touched it and rejected. This candlestick that touched it, this candlestick that rejected. So this is one. It's a rejection you're counting. All right. So if one candlestick touch and reject, you count it, right? But this one touched it and closed inside it, and the next candlestick rejected. So this way counts one. That's one rejection as a support, and the next one it broke it. So it broke it. But now look at it, this candlestick kind of touched it and rejected. But now it touched it as a resistance. So the week touched it as a resistance and rejected. So as a resistance, now that was actually one. This one again touched it as a resistance and rejected. So this one touched it and it broke above it and closed above it, it did not reject. So it broke it again, you see? But it has broken the radio. Now it's a support back. This one came, touched it and rejected. Support. This one touched it and rejected. Soon as a support. This one touched and rejected. And again, it broke it again. So now you're seeing a line like this. Just anyhow. All right. If you don't really know how to read, read like just, just when you see things like this, don't stress it. All right. Don't stress it, just stay, just leave it alone. Because it's confused. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It doesn't know what it wants. It's very, very weak. 
because they're just breaking anyhow up and up and down. So why we now going to take a trade marking in between it? You can actually do that, right? Right, but you will not want to do it. Right, now come and see. After all those nonsense it did, it now came and rejected one, two, three, four, yeah, making it like a, a, min, a medium rejection. It's, it's a decent point, all right? It's a decent point, okay? So when you are marking your zones, that's just what you're looking for. See these ones that clumps, clumps up together. Look, I interpret it. It's, use this, just leave the alone, all right? Let's leave that one alone. Now see this, this is actually a medium one. Now look, at this actually under medium. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you actually understand how to read candles, all right, you're going to understand what open and close is. Now, so this is actually what I'm counting. The open and close of the candle Right, if this candle touches this thing, and at the end of the day, it closes above it, I count it as one because the candlestick touched it and it rejected. All right, now this candlestick touched the line, but it didn't close above it. It was the next candlestick that rejected and closed above it. So I would call this one two, these two candles, because it's re rejection I'm actually counting. Now, this red one touched it and closed above it. Can you see it? So I'll call it three. This green one touched it and closed above it. I'll call it four. See this red one again? It touched it. It not closed above, but the next candlestick rejected five. So this is actually a medium zone, medium support. All right, now the market has broken it. But you understand, right? Let's try to look for more examples. Let's try to look for like two more, three more. There's also what we call fake out. All right, let me show you what fake out actually is now. This is a fake out. So fake out is kind of like the market looked as if it wanted to break that zone, but it, it broke it actually and closed below it. But it now went back above it and continued respecting that zone. Now look at this is one. This is two. It touched it and closed above. Let's zoom it in properly. Right, two. This is three. Teachers first on this. Um, sorry. All right. <clears throat> So look at the weeks. This touched its one. This touched its, you can see the line, the line I marked up and rejected it too. This touched it and rejected it. Reject means closed above it. Okay. So now this one broke it and closed below it. Below it. The open of the candle is I'll, I'll send I'll send I'll send an article. I think I'll, I'll send I'll send a, a, a short video on them um, open and close of candles. So you just understand what open and close of candles is. But you just understand what I mean by the rejection. Weeks, weeks are rejections. Just look at it like that. But bodies are full candles. So when the point when you actually see a body, fat candle below the line has broken it. Like if you see it below the line has broken it. But then if the next one actually goes above the line, like this one went below the line, this body went below, right? And the next one went above, it's rejected. But when you now see a body that goes below the line and the next one is still below it, it has broken it. But now look at the third candle, what actually happened, it went above. So this is a fake out. So me, when it comes to fake outs, I just ignore this shit. I ignore this fake out because the fake out just kind of like the market trying to see some people. Because Forex traders actually use um, break and retest. And um, Forex traders use a um, price trap. So what they actually use is that once the market breaks 
and closes, they will take their entry with the next trade and put their take profit and stop loss. What's going to do? I'm going to pick them out and then hit their stop loss before now maybe continuing on the trend or even reverse itself. Right? So the fake out, I just ignore it and I keep counting. So if it's me, I'd have counted this as one. It's a week, two, week, three, week rejection. I ignore this one. Four, this is a week. This long arrow here, long um, needle is the week, is a rejection. Four, the five, so the week again, six, right? So this is actually six rejections on this line. So it's medium and it finally broke. All right, it finally broke. So now, hope you all understood that. Don't worry, if you actually get everything here, is the session is actually recorded, so you're actually going to watch. The session is actually recorded, so you're actually going to watch the recorded session. But I'll take it again one last time. All right. Now, um, let me make this thing very, very bold. I'll make it the boldest I can actually make it right now. Oops, I'm so bold. <clears throat> All right. Now, look at this is. All these things, you see this red and green, this in their candlestick. If you watch your academic video, you see it, all right? You want to understand the open and close of candles, but I don't want to um, maybe make this a little bit complicated here. I don't start explaining a lot of terms and, terms and conditions, <laughs> right? So um, look at this. Anytime you see a week here mm, that touches, and at the end of everything, you still see a needle, right? It's rejected, right? Because these candles, the way they used to form, and they will form full as a body. And when you touch it, they will just go, 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 and maybe close above. If you have noticed your candle. So if you touched and closed like that, it rejected because the candlestick didn't break the zone. It actually rejected it. So when it touched here, this thing came as a full candle. It came as this full candle. As I was saying, this thing, all this thing, there's a point where all this thing was actually full like this green right but when everything now touched here it's now rejected and now ended here so what what does that mean that means this candle touched here and rejected this line you understand now this this red thing you're seeing here like this if the weak of body sorry If it touches and rejects, if the week, like all this week, this week's actually rejections. So this thing you're seeing here that actually has a sharp needle. There was a time it's actually a full candle like this. Hmm? And it became so full and touched this line. But after touching this line, what actually happened? It went back up and closed here. What actually happened? That means it touched here and rejected. So what do you do? You count it. So you see, we've counted this one. This one touched and rejected. That's one. This one touched and rejected. So this third one, what actually happened? It came here, full body, touched here and rejected. It's three. Now, let's look at this one. This one came as a full body. It touched it and broke it. It didn't reject. This one broke it, right? But let's ignore this one. This is a fake out because after breaking it, it was meant to continue going down, but it came back up again. It's a fake out, all right? But now look at this one again. This one came as a full body, just like how this one touched here. It touched and it even came down. By the end of it, what actually happened? It's rejected and ended here. You see it now? So these are what I count 
as this thing. This one came full body, touched it. Doesn't have to reject and end here, leaving a week. It's actually, it actually didn't reject, it just kept going down. All right. So now let me show you the other type of this thing we actually have. That's the one that will give you body and break, but the next body would. Uh -huh. Now look at this one. Let's count this one. Look at, it came like this and touched here. It's rejected and closed here. You count it as one. This next one came like this and touched here. It has already closed below here, but see the next candle rejected the line. So you count this one as one. So now it's not going to be one, two, three. No, this touching and the rejection is one, and this is touching and the rejection is two, right? Now, this is the third one, touching and rejection three. This is the fourth one, touching and rejection four. This is the fifth one, touching and the rejection five. So this team respected this line five times. Let's go to one last example. Some people are leaving the call when the call has not yet started itself. Well, I've all gone the main thing, you know. All right, I'm just trying to show you this thing, right? So when I know people like, I've coach out that I know strong one. I'm seeing a lot of lines. How do I come? When you see a lot of lines, you come there, look at it, draw your line. I've seen been breaking it anyhow. It's breaking it, but I leave it alone. Look for the ones that broke, that, that respected it well. This end, the medium high is good. Wait for the break and retest. Check your distance. Are they actually aligned? Take your entry. Perfect. All right. All right. So now let me. There's this refresh tool here for those that you can just. just Click on it and check, take your charts back to normal. So now let's go and look for, let's see what this one we have done already. And let's go and do this one together. So I'll, 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 I'll just, I'll, I won't talk why is in this one. I'll just allow everybody to count it themselves. So when everybody counts themselves, they will tell me how many numbers is. So, all right. Okay, so let's zoom this thing out very, very well. All it's very um, visible for everybody to see. So we'll all count and I think we'll actually drop the, what they call the numbers we got on the chat box. Let me see if people are actually really following what I'm doing. Uh, let me zoom it out like this again. So you see these things are not just, they're not difficult actually. And when you do this to yourself, you actually, you understand very, you appreciate this training when you practice on your own, all right? When you practice on your own, when you practice on your own. So let's count, all right, it's rejected actually. So I'll leave it here. So let's count. Look at this one. These two are together. They are together. You see it? Only those two.
Look at this one. These two are together. Why? Because the body closed below, right? The body closed below, and the next one. Look at this one, they are together. It touched here, came and closed above. So how many times? Let's go, let's go. That's very, very awesome. Yeah, I'm seeing some people dropping 13. I'm seeing some people dropping 15. I actually counted 15, actually. There are more like than 20, if eh? All right, so uh, if I actually counted those ones that are very, very close, right? But I didn't count those actually very close, actually. So 19. Yeah, I got like 16, I guess. So that means everyone actually following. So is this is this is this a glass, a wood, or a concrete? Richard, Kim and go I got a gold medal for you, Richard. Concrete, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So this concrete was finally broken. Hmm? Um, my refresh tool. Yeah, where is the concrete again? Where is that concrete though? I think it should be around here. Oh yeah, this is it. Now look at this. All right, look at this. Now you can agree with me. We can all agree here that this just kept bouncing on the floor. This coach Michael bouncing on the floor bouncing on the floor, doing an impact 2.0, bouncing, 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 you know, bouncing at, you know, the whole, every other actually eccentric, so it was bouncing. This was a fake out, not a brick. This is not actually fake out, this is normal rejection, touched, next one, so you see, it kept bouncing. You can also agree with me now that it broke at this point, right? Right? It's broke at this point. Now look at this is what a retest. Now imagine you took this shape at this point. Can you see how it fell? After falling, can you see that it took it time? Right? It took it time. You just kept testing, testing, testing. If I had to count this one, you'll see it took it time. Right? I think how many, how many, how many players live in yourself? Though we don't take multiple. Why is my laptop annoying me like this? Now? Though we don't take multiple distance, but if you look here, after it broke at this point, this it touched here and rejected. If you took it at this point, you would have cleared. It came here again, two. I just seen three, four. You'll see it, right? So a market that had, has tested it so many times and now finally breaks it at this point. It's not going to my retest. What are you, what do you think is gonna happen? It's going to what? Fall to the floor. Because this floor, this is now the floor here, now will become in a ceiling and because it was a concrete floor before, it's become a concrete ceiling or a strong ceiling. Did you get it? And that's why the market respected a couple of times, one, two, three, four, I think four times, before it now give a fake out, it now came down. When it won't give that fake out soon, it just kept bouncing, bouncing, doing anyhow, right? So because it was strong, that's why the reaction was like that. So this is what the market keeps doing over, over, over and over and over. Now, your ability to be able to spot strong ones, all right, is actually what makes the difference. So when they tell you cash trap, this, that, 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 uptrend, RSI, Bollinger Band, Storch, and all of that, how do you know how to buy and sell? Oh, okay. So when you see cash trap, storage, RSI, Bollinger Bands, current stream meter, and everything, I see 
support or resistance. So move on up and start picking glass, 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 glass. You don't have to let Coach Michael. <laughs> it's not working, you no. Know. But how will you work when you're picking glass, support and resistance? Hmm? This will not work because your support and resistance are glass, glasses, or glass, glasses. All right. So that's why it doesn't work. But this thing I just thought is complicating. It's it's confusing. Yeah, it can be. It can it can look complicated. But when you spend two hours every single day spotting these things, marking all these weird weird horizontal lines, looking at the reaction, they call it back testing. Going back in time and testing what you just learned, testing the strategy. It's called back testing. Different between glass and concrete. Glass is glass, and glass shatters easily. How many touches of glass? Um, I would take like five for medium, four to five, four to six for medium, and six above for um strong. Then anything below three, three below should be like weak. Uh, so, all right. So um, that is it. Now we all know how to get good support and resistance. Now let's just play with support and resistances. Let's go to this thing first before we go back to continue. Um, how do I get this thing to be good again? Now? So now you understand, or you, what's the name? So now most of us actually understand, all of us actually understand what I mean by this, right? So now I started with support, right? Look at Coach Michael jumping on top of support. He kept jumping, 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 but his support was very strong, so he held him. It was tempered glass, so he didn't force his death. And this was the resistance on top of him. He kept jumping, 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 but finally he broke this resistance. But look at this resistance was strong for a couple of time, right? I'm not counting this one as one, two, three. I'm kind of like, this is like 15. <laughs> it's because this, yeah, I just found like that, right? So it broke it and came, it kept bouncing on top of it. See, this strong resistance became a strong support. So that's why the market kept, right? So if you back test and see zones that were just tested multiple times, you see that when they finally got broken, the market just kept testing them for a while before it maybe continued or so, right? But the fact that it actually happened like that doesn't mean it happens all the time because the market and every and every single, single thing rather is like, about 80% or so. Every, every single thing is like maybe 70%, right? 70%. So now combining this and that, combining this and that, combining this and that can actually give you a strategy that can actually be like 90%, all right? So combining everything together, that's actually what you're used to trade, not just this, all right? So that is it, right? We, are, we all know how to get our strong and uh, weak, Supports and um, resistance. Look at this candlestick. It's trying to explain what I was talking about. So break and come down again. Then to go back up, to come down, come down, come down. So this week's actually trying to show you that this candle touched here, but it didn't close here. It's closed above. All right, so this long one means it's closed below, but weeks means they touched it, but it's rejected it. All right, so um, so that's it about that. So that's just support and resistance, very easy. All right, so um, let's go and look for two more examples. Should we look for two more examples? Let's 
Let's see what to so now we actually understand what they see. So now when, when they tell you future support becomes resistance, past resistance becomes support. This is don't confuse yourself. Just look at Coach Michael jumping up, jumping up, jumping up, and finally he broke that place and landed at all that place. He's on top of that place. He will keep jumping, jumping, jumping because he kept jumping and his head kept his. And finally his head broke it and then he landed on top of it. So what actually happened now? This resistance now. He's now matching the resistance. That means, on top. that means this past resistance just became a future support. So you may even not confuse, just liking this into an area of structure. All right, so areas of structures, keep marking them up. You can just keep marking them. They are everywhere. Every, every, so you can start by just drawing one, one lines, but, and you can with time see multiple ones. So let's come, let's give like four examples. Let me just pick four random things. So we'll look at, So look at look at look at this one. It came here rejected once it broke. It came here again, rejected this. The second time it came here, it, it broke. This was the support before it's it's rejected the support, then it broke. This was the resistance, it rejected the resistance, then the next time it broke. <laughs> then it came here, rejected one, two, three. It broke. It rejected here again, it broke. See this market is playing, it's just playing games. So what are you gonna do? You leave her alone. You leave me alone. All right. And you go to the next one. See, it came here, touched, rejected two times. It broke. It came here again. No one see. It didn't want. It didn't want reject anything itself again. Can you see? It? Because this is very very weak. It just broke it straight up, and now it rejected again. Abi, once and what actually happened? Okay, try it this time around. It broke it immediately. No one answering, like you, you see what you see what I'm talking about, right? So now look at it here again. You came here, touched here once, two times. The thought that what actually happened, you rejected it, broke it, scattered it because it's very, very weak. Now it broke it again because it's weak. It rejected once, two, three. It broke it because it's weak. You see what I'm talking about, right? Right now, you now came here one, two. In three, four. So I counted one, two. This one together at three, four, and five. Then it came here again, six, and now broke. So now if it's to come back here, it will come here and it's most likely to reject. It's most likely, right, to reject it. So um, let me just show them up here again. Let's try with Bitcoin. BTC. Oh, the old market does like that. Too. You can don't trade BTC step on. Um, on IQ sense. Hmm? You just know what you're looking for. Put this line here. Draw, where, where, where are you drawing your line? You're drawing your line of best hits. All right. The line that actually has most touches. Let's see. Hmm. The chat box is like, it's crazy right now. So let's count these together. All right. So now look here, this one. This one. First rejection, two, second, three. This candlestick touched it and ended on top of it. It didn't reject, but this is a rejection. So this is three. Now look at this one. Rejected it. Zoom it very well. See, it touched and rejected it. Four. Then see the next one. Oh, this is Bitcoin moving weirdly. This is the fourth one. It broke it. So you rejected like I think three times or four times. Yeah, four times actually. This is the fifth one that broke it. Right, but. There was a fake out. So I just ignore this one. I said it rejected four times. It came here again, five. It touched here and rejected. Six, it touched here and rejected. Those six zones, man. That's strong. If this is coming here, it's more likely to reject it. And if it breaks it, hmm? let's say it, it breaks it. Remember, support or 
support, right? Sorry. Remember, if it comes the analyze, it's what's going to happen is that it's either going to reject, it's most likely to reject, but even if it doesn't reject it, if it now says it wants to break, it has broken it. When it's coming back here, what do you think will happen? It's going to reject. Because it, it is not glass to reject, right? Before it maybe continues on its downtrend also. So that's just how to spot your distance. That's how I do my own. That's how I do my own. When I come, then let me use cash up. I like using cash up a lot. So this is Coach Michael on Team Trace, I love that. Now it comes and um, let me clear this stuff. To delete these lines you drew, see, see this delete this trash bin. All right, click on it. All right. <clears throat> so you look at this. You look at this market. It's looking ah cash shop. Coach Michael was teaching some. Coach Michael, yeah, just zoom it in. Look at it very well. You see those zones are they are multiple. It's just see you can just keep, you can mark like ten self, so, right? But you're not trying to mark. You're trying to mark the best ones. And the area of best fits in graphs that's what they call it. That zone actually has more touches and more rejections. This is it. So now, if you zoom in to get your um, cash trap to look like a um, trading view. What you do is you double tap on it. Now, when you double tap, you can use one finger to double tap. Sorry. I'm sorry, give me a second, sorry. So let me check the next question. No, we're not, we're not done. We're just starting, though. We are just starting. All right. How many rejections do you see in the chat? To so know if it's strong. Um, I say like I think five to seven or so is medium. Five to seven is medium. Then above, above five to eight is medium or so. Then above that, is, right? Um, four below is weak, or three below is weak. Right? Three below is weak. So what is the black line in the mid? What I want to know. The thing is that that in the time frame should all right. The thing is that the time frame. All right, the thing is that the time frame should determine um, when you're taking the trade. So if I'm marking my charts up on the three minutes, on the five minutes time frame, I just take three minutes trade or two minutes trade. If I'm using the one minute time frame, I take one minute trade, all right? If I'm using maybe maybe five, maybe um, 15 minutes, I can take maybe five, yeah, five minutes or three minutes um, markups, all right? Because the candles are actually five minutes or five minutes time frame. 15 minutes for 15 minutes time from all of that. So if you're marking up on the five minutes, three minutes trade, 15 minutes, five minutes trade, and all of that. There are differences of marking up charts. All right. Yeah, it's either you use Kevin Moore's method, which is good, or you also or use my method, or um yeah, I think that's Ivan Cabral stuff or so method all right which is also good so whichever one is actually easier for you but i actually find this one very very easy because i don't need to start going to our start start with daily this if i also see something i like on cash trap i've already kept my line i've already gone back and checked how many times how many times i've already looked at this wrong i've already taken my trade you understand but i think i don't know maybe with can really may actually need to actually add maybe our uh, day that type of thing like me actually take i don't know right but whichever one is um Easier for is what she use. Just try to figure out the one that's that easier for you, right? All of them works. Matea uses this method, all right? 
that's my matter. It's Brandon Boyd, Lee, Ivan Cabral, Christian Lopez, Daniel Lopez. This is what they use. You understand, right? So it's all based on whichever one that works for you. All right, whichever one that is they are more comfortable using. What is the they using? I'm actually answered everything. So let's continue. You can mark up your trade with your phone. I have a friend that grew account to um five figures trading for us with her phone, MT4. Is MT4? She used to look at the pattern and take a trade. I, I asked her to use that way. She, she doesn't like laptop. The laptop is clumsy and stressful to use. So you can use it. All you just need is just practice very well and get very familiar. Um, okay, so we are continuing the training right now. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've got in your question, right? Yeah, just figure out the one that works best for you. Yeah, I've, I've explained it. It's the same thing. The same number of weeks and all of that. Anything below three is weak. Anything above three to seven is medium. Then above seven is strong. That is just use that thing. Yeah, I'm sharing my screen back, right? You can try it on live trade, but um, not on your own, right? So um, something about team trading session right now is that how do I control my losses? Now, for my losses and my wins, all right, I actually have a training where I actually thought about um, what they call a trader's mindset, right? How to get the proper, proper mindset of trading. That and um, what they call it um, when it comes to trading, how to get your discipline, the, 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 I think the various um, challenges you're going to face as a trader and all of that, right? So it's, um, the video is actually on the group chats, right? I think how it's, it's, it's my, my, my flyer was actually on the video, my five figure flyer fly was on the video. So if you watch that one, you actually have the answer to your question. Yeah, there's a video for that. So that question just refers to that video. I'm going to get out of this thing. All right, that was like an hour, 30 minutes training or so. Okay, so um, that's all. Yeah, cash trap mastery, uh, Chairman Vivian. Thanks very much for that. So now let's proceed. All right. Um, risk management, yeah, there's a video for everything. How can I stop training on the phone? Yeah, it's the same thing, the same thing. The same thing, just open, go to trading videos, come and put your phone in desktop mode. If you're in desktop, it's display like how it's actually displaying on the laptop. So that is it's it will be dropped on the group. It's will be posted on the group after this training. Yeah, I'll post it in the group after this training. Um, so let's continue. Let me log into Cash Trap. All right, so we'll continue. So any other question before that? Yeah, I'm so happy and grateful that a lot of people actually learned how to mark up their charts today. And I'm so happy and grateful that a lot of people are going to practice it and they will master how to piece the market anyhow, All right? The HFX market's in trouble. All right, so, um, so I was actually trying to explain something in Cash Trap, right? So let me show you how I do my things. So this is me, right? And I'm on team trading session. Yeah, my screen, that's what I'm trying to do now. Yeah, I need to put it now. So I am looking at all the peers and everything like that. Just looking at everything, 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 everything. I don't treat everything. It's just one thing or two things. I'm just two things I'm looking for. No, that's what I like. Hmm. Weird movement. Tomorrow is NFT, right? So you've seen a lot of weird, weird things in the market right now. Uh -huh. I like this. Why do I like this? Okay. I'll just come here. Straight up, and I'll draw my supports here. Hmm? If this market comes down here, I'm taking this trade. If it comes down, I'm taking this trade. Why? Okay, no, no. Yeah, why? If the condition is still like this, or let's say like 70, 30, I'll take it if it comes down here. Why? If you come here, this one, two, three, four. 
five, six. So this is a medium support. Seven, so this is seven. And look at it. If it's coming, then it must be in the lower Bollinger bands, right? Strong support in the in the medium support in this in the eight strong, let's say strong in the lower Bollinger band, and the RSI is going to be crossed. Are you seeing that? Right. So I've already gotten all my confirmations, and now I'm not getting the strong support. I'll take it. All right. So that's just how. I, I do my stuff. Let me see. Let's look for that one. Let's look for one or two setups. If I now go to the main stuff here. Don't let the whole this thing confuse you. Don't let it scatter your eyes. Well. It's not difficult. Come here and look well. If it's confusing, use your finger like this one finger. I'm not trading, though. I'm just teaching, all right? I'm just teaching. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. This is not a trading, this is not a trading session. This is a trading session. You come here, horizontal line. Where am I going to mark up here? If I zoom this thing out like this, my line will be around. Remember, it's actually your area of depth with your drawing. That's the area that actually has the most rejections, right? The area of best fit this. Now let's go back. If you notice one, two, three, four, it broke it. Now see one, two, three, four, five, six. Which pair is this? This is your card. So woman, if this is coming down back here, I'll take the street. This is not rejecting six times. All right, if it's coming down back here, it's gonna be very, very close to the uh, modic call it Bollinger bands. One confirmation, it will be giving me a cross down here. Two confirmations. The corresponding same that would be my favor. Three confirmations. What is this? See the pattern. Then touching this zone to continue on the uptrend, right? So I'm thinking, but you did you see how I counted it from the past to get how strong? <laughs> Michi, <laughs> all right. You see how I did counted it with the past thing. I didn't just come in and check here. I went to the past. So I went to the past. Check it. Sometimes, right? Let's say, let's look for one of these things like this. Where you don't really see anything like that. There are a lot of peers who, when you want to trade, don't limit yourself. You must see what you want before you click on anything. I'm looking for something. So I'll show you a particular example now. That example is not showing you. See, NFP, see how everything is just, the market is not just moving. Okay, and just together like this. See, imagine the peer just looking very, very ugly. <laughs> I'm looking for a particular example. So I'll just show you something. Sometimes when I see, I don't see him. <laughs> I didn't see that. I saw that. I, 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 okay, I didn't think one like that. It's my one like that yesterday or so. Okay, sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I saw something like this. Like this, your card. Let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see this. No. Yeah, let me see this. Your card is the only thing I think that makes sense. Now, let's see. This thing was not showing here. All right, let's see. This was not just here. Like this candles that reacted like this. Let's see, they didn't, they didn't react like this. All right, let's see. This candles actually react like this. And let's say this market is just coming down like this. 
it just reacts like this. Then it's coming down like this. It's coming down like this. I've checked my currency strength with that. It's coming down like this. I'll check my currency. I'll check my currency strength with that. I've seen it's in my favor. Everything actually already aligning, but this one is still coming down. I know it's going to reject at one point. And I've checked here. Sometimes you won't see anything here. The market can go very up. They're just coming down like this. I've checked, I've not seen anything there. Everything just plain. What am I going to do? Out slide. You see how cash, why cash is actually very sweet, right? Now, look at this. In the midst of all that smoothness, before was this very, 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 very strong Max Zuckerberg cement, concrete rather. Just look at this. Look at this. This is not Dango This is Max Zuckerberg cement. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just kept doing like this multiple times, all right? Multiple times, because it's to like up to like 16. Mm -hmm. And now I have a market. Uh, let's see, look at this market now. Since my 18 came down like this, yeah? Right, now it's coming back up. I'm, I need to react at some point because the currency stream with the RSI are already crossing. What am I gonna do? I will go back. You get, I won't go back that far. If, it, if it's going back that far, I'll leave the load. I'll just go back some more and check. And let's say it's something like this I saw. This line I marked up, you see how strong it is? Hmm? I'll take it. Look at this line now, see this line? I drew the line. Look at what I've been showing now. See, it came here, rejected once. It came here, rejected the second time. Came here, third. It's rejected well. Are you seeing what I'm talking about? Before it finally broke it. So if you saw something like this, all right, you would have taken it now because you know it's very strong and all the other parameters actually align and you'd have played the trade. Why? Because of it. So sometimes we can see something like, I didn't just actually see the perfect example I'm talking about. But if you want to look at this line, you see that this line was just, it's still strong because it's still rejected here before it finally broke here. And now this is coming down here again. I'll take it. So let's say for example, this was like this, very, very isolated. If you just check here, you now come at something like this around this point. Okay, I think I marked up this one myself. I don't know. That's just it. I don't, that's it. That's what I'm saying. So you, if you don't see something there, check back a bit. Don't go and check three days. We just check some hours ago, or let's say two days ago, or one day ago. I think it should be like a day, a day before. Sorry, give me a second. Let me push this out. That is November 3rd. If you look down here, you see the dates. Shouldn't be more than one day ago. Just one day ago. You see, I think it's something that's strong. You can take it. Even if of recent it has not been doing that, but because you have a very, very strong zones a couple of while ago, you can actually take it at that zone. So that's just it about support and resistance. We're just playing with this thing. See what looks very, very complex. I cannot find support. I see we have found one here. We have found another one here. Sorry. Hmm? So this is what, um, what do you call it? Kavimo will say pirates, one for jumpers and the other one for, you know, patient traders, right? Zones. Them. He has checked, he has seen weak zone. Some people are jumpers, let them jump into the big zone. If they jump and they fall, they fall, right? They like trade, they like going 12 0 so they need fast trade. So let me give them the zone for glass. So if they jump out of the glass, they are fast. They can jump above it, you understand? But if they break it and they're coming down, what does happen? The solid guys, the patient ones, is actually your entry. You see why it's taking this much, you see, right? So sometimes you get to glass and it reacts. A lot of times it does that, but you're more, safer taking trades at stronger zones. That actually, it actually it's about how to mark up a chart and how to get your zones. Now let's go to the main training. Um, there are two different ways I trade cash trap. 
I've taught um, it in um, that um, mindset mastery and training video, and I'm going to teach it again. Let me clear this stuff first. All right. Now, if your friend is not actually here, call your friend and let him come and see. Come out to come out to yeah. In forex, all right. We have what we call break and retest. Um, this is support. This is resistance. That's a skyscraper in Dubai. And this is Coach Michael. Coach Michael, he jumped. He jumped. He's a jumper. And. Hmm? I won't take it trade anyhow, right? I like entering at the retest. So I wait for this to break. Hmm? And when it comes to retest, this is where I'm going to enter it. And I'll continue it. Now, let me explain that. Right? I'll explain it, don't worry. So don't just pay attention, right? I'll play this again, I'll start again. First of all, currency stream meter. Currency stream meter, all right? So currency stream meter is indicating the trend. So you check the currency stream meter, the trend and uptrend. All right? That means the market is going on uptrend, I don't know if it's sudden. Right, so now which point are you going to, and the market is just moving on an uptrend like that, All right? This is what the market is doing. It just kept doing, 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 doing. right? It just it breaks it. It's coming down. Hmm? Sorry. It's coming down. Now, you know, you've marked up your multiple, I don't know, for those that mark up a lot of things, which I, I don't, you've marked up here. You know, this is the resistance. Hmm? But when the market was here, you cannot take it trade. Why? Because it's an uptrend. When the market came down here, you couldn't take a trade because the RSI has not crossed and everything like that. It has broken. If you want to take a trade, if you want to take a trade on an uptrend, you're only looking to take calls. On a downtrend, you're only looking to take puts. So this market is on an uptrend. You're just waiting for this market to retrace and come to a very, very nice zone, a very, very nice zone. And that nice zone is going to be your support or resistance, which you have marked up properly. So you have marked up this zone like this as a nice zone. It has broken it and it's coming back to retest it. The moment it touches this zone, here is the entry. And you take it, you win the trade. Let's clear this. I'll start again. The market is on an uptrend. It's going. This is what the market is doing. All right. You want to take it at this. What is this now? Sorry. You want to take it at um, this zone. Or this zone or this zone. Yeah, call, call, call. Right, that's it. So ignore the whole trend. This trend may actually confuse you all of that. Look at the current trend. Now make sure the current trend is actually far apart. So you look, you see like let's say 70, 30, condition is actually far apart, all right? The next thing is to look for a very, very good area of support since it's core you're looking for. You come to your hourglass, look for your area, this zone. When it comes here, has it crossed down? And is the other convention actually a floor? Yes, you take your trade. So, 
that is it. The next things I also just practice them on yourself. Yourself, you know how to get your zooms. Practice so break our test. That is break our test. I'll, I'll share I'll share examples of break our test. The market is just moving, 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 moving. But just look at the coin stream. That was the first thing, and either it breaks or this thing. You try to enter it at the perfect area for a call. All right, that's just what break our test. When it breaks, it's about a resistance and come back to be tested. Yes, I explained break our test a lot of times. Let's come here. Hmm? Look at what breakery test is, guys. Let me show you with this. All right, so look at this market kept respecting, 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 respecting. And I finally broke. Yeah? What am I seeing? Sorry. Look at this way we're looking at. Let me make it um, red. Let me make it sick. Look at it kept bouncing, 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 bouncing all of it. All right now, finally it broke. It has broken. Where I can enter the trade on the retest. It came here to retest it and it's continuing. All right. But your constraint must be in your favor. All right. So now let's say, for example, this trade now. I, I really need examples. I should explain this thing. Yeah, let's say, for example, this. See, one, if you look at this, this is actually an uptrend. All right. This is an uptrend. All right. See, it's, it's going up. All right. Now, look at the market came here. It came here, touched, came down, is respecting the zone. Right, it's respecting it. But the markets are an uptrend from the current strength that's been like 80 30. It came here again. And now see it now broke the zone. So what is this telling you? You wait for the retracement to touch your very strong support. And when it's touching your very, very strong support, check your RSI. See it's crossing down. You see it's crossing down. And what it happens after that, guys, it's crazy. It went to the moon. So this is an example of break and return. It happens there any, anyhow, any way. It just anyhow, it just can be looking confusing, but don't let it confuse you. I really can't show you much examples because I don't know, the market is, they all just mashed up together. I think it's because of the news as the NFP week and all of that. I don't know. There was actually an all the news today. So on all peers. So all of them are looking ugly. Very, very ugly. Let me some for example. It was an uptrend. Oh. Oh. Let me look for one example. So guys, the 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 the, the, the crazy thing about this is that. Every team training session we're going to be having from now on, all right? When I take a trade, we clear the trade, right? When I don't clear the trade at the end of the session, or when, when I don't clear the trade, 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 I'm going to explain it why it's the trade. I'm going to break it down like this and show you, okay, look at this. Can you see the market broke this? Can you see this actually a strong zone here? Can you see actually this as a treatment? Can you see the RS actually? I'll show you. So you're going to be seeing these things yourself physically. And that's why it gave this reaction. All right? So if you take your time and study this, just understand the main thing and all of that. On subsequent training session, we'll be explaining them. When we take trades, explain the reason why we took the trade, the reason why the trade won. If we lose the trade, explain the reason why we lost the trade. So we lost this trade because this is a very, very weak support, all right? And it has reacted once already. And um, that is that, all right? So that's it, guys. I just showed everyone how to um, use TradingView, how to 
um, use their trading view, how to make their trading view easier, how to um, mark up their chart, how to get good, strong, good and strong support and resistance, the break and retest strategy, and um, everybody knows use cash trap. So combining everything together and joining team trading sessions and learning is going to be everything. All right, so um, one thing when you're on sessions, all right, if you can remove any other you can actually mark up your zone, use your own trading view, mark it up on your own, start checking it yourself. Okay, this is strong. I, I see now. Oh, I understand this thing now. Huh? You can see it now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's why it told us that when it comes here, we'll take it back. You see, the color three trades on your own. You can do it yourself and look at what they are looking at. When it's coming there, you're seeing it. Oh, yes, it's clear. Oh, yeah, because of this. You've already understood this. Do it, do it. On team trading, they mark up this zone. Check it yourself. Why, why are they picking this zone? Wow. I, don't, I don't like why. I don't like this zone. This zone is too weak. Let me watch it and observe you. One dollar. That is how you learn. Right? Make sure you're tapping on your own, like you're drawing the lines yourself and you're looking at this on your own check back test and all of it so trading view is very simple to navigate through trading view like this you have um different gestures you have one finger gesture to move your mouse or trackpad you have two finger gesture to zoom in and out of your chat right and um you have double tap right if you double tap on your screen with one finger Double tap, you can move your this thing like this up and down, up and down, up and down. So two fingers reduce the chart. Um, one finger move your mouse. One finger double tap to bring to bring your chart up and down. So that's it. Then your left hand side or right hand side, where you see these numbers here, if you double tap on it with one finger like this, you can move it up and down to make this. If you've actually messed up your chart, like how I've actually messed mine, and you can't really get everything to look fine back, you just come down here and click on this reset and reset everything. So that's actually it, guys. See you guys on the next team trade session, which will be Monday by 6 a.m. Um, if you are not actually active, you want to actually get yourself back active because you need to join team trading sessions, you need to actually join go live educator sessions you need to actually watch them mark up their charts you need to actually mark it up and mark it up you need to actually learn from them and you need to actually have access to strategies which are going to make it very, very easy for you to trade all right so that's it guys um if you have any questions you can just type your questions let me see if i just answer one or two questions you're very much welcome you're very very much welcome gloria solomon